So everybody, um, special guest with me here this evening. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Jason Sweeney. Yeah, now Jason is organising uh, a very special event. And uh, maybe I'm wrong in just saying you're organising it. There's a wee bit more than you just organising it, Oh Jason. yes, there's a lot more people <laughs> behind me organising it as but, well. Um, coming up now on Saturday the 3rd yes. of September, Yes. there is a, a tractor run. Where is it? It's at uh, Ballyray Meadows, the Leon End, um, the fields that Robert Crawford own, Further. just outside Clark. And this particular uh, tractor run is for, obviously for charity. What charity have you chosen to go with? It's the Children's Hospice, and well, it's the charity we have chose. And the Children's Hospice, you know, something that you we were having a conversation with up in there that you wanted to try and get out there, and I think this is very important is that the Children's Hospice is a fantastic charity. Yes. We think of hospice and we just think maybe, mm, maybe yeah. we just think, you know, yeah, old people and yes. things like that there. But the Children's Hospice does a lot of work. The hard bit now. So you, you've you had to use the Children's Hospice, yes. sadly. Yes. What happened, Jason? Um, Alexander was born in 2018 mm -hmm. and uh, we thought he was perfectly fine and healthy yeah. and on October 20 he took not well. Um, he was rushed to hospital and from that he had stroke and a few other things happened. We was in ICU and he was diagnosed after seven weeks with a condition called Paul G. Um, it's a mitochondrial condition and that's when the hospice came to us because his condition was uh, life limiting yes. and there was no cure for it. So the hospice came and introduced themselves to us and we used the facilities quite often and it's a fun place for children and they do lots of special things with them. The nurses there are absolutely fantastic. Uh and uh, at the end of life of Alexander, they looked after him very, very well. And us, me and my wife Lisa, they really, really looked after us. And I cannot praise the work that they do enough. And that's why we're doing this fundraiser. And my son Alexander loved tractors, uh, especially the blue ones. But any tractor. Funny <laughs> joke. Yes. We all love yes. this one here. Yes. Um, so. so the hospice was invaluable to you in those last days. Yes, very invaluable. And they still are at the minute with Lisa and us. They continue to give us care, um, even though Alexander's not here with us. And guys, this is what's so important. And this is the message that you really want to get out there is that, you know, the Children's Hospice is such an important organization. They are, they're such an important organization. And the role that they do is phenomenal. Yeah, and so basically this is a massive welcome for everybody to come on the 3rd. Please yes. bring your tractors. If yes. you can't bring your tractors, bring yourself. Yes. There is food, there's auction, there's raffle, there's music. music. There's a whole pile of bits and pieces yes. going on. We'd love to see you there. We'll be there. I'll yes. be there. Who knows what kind of tractor I'll take that day. And, uh, <laughs> You're welcome in any one. I was going to say, can I bring a green one? Yes, you surely can. No problem at all. What does I say? Look, Jason, I know it took a lot of courage for you to Thank come you. and say this, and you've, you, you know, without charities like the hospice, yes. a lot of people would be in a lot of different places. They would, surely. And that's the message we're trying to get. Charities are so valuable, and in this particular case, the Children's Hospice, and they've reached out into this family and many other families yes. and they have helped make a difference. Whilst they couldn't change the outcome, yes. they've, they've helped yes. make a difference. They definitely have. Everybody, please come, please yes, support. Please. Look at the little badge. I'll put a wee zoom up on that. The smallest feet make the biggest footprints in the hearts and that's the little logo that's been used and that's young Alexander's footprint. It has, yeah. And uh, that's what's made the logo. That, that was made by the hospice, the nurses at the hospice done that for us. <laughs> no, I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's the work. <laughs> that's the other side of what they do. That's amazing what they do. And Thank you very guys, much. It's okay to not be okay. See you all there. <laughs>